in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I am engineer Hani Camel. In this video, we are going to resume power transformer testing series. I will talk about power transformer short circuit impedance test. As we know that short circuit impedance are three types. Positive sequence impedance, negative sequence impedance, and already in power transformer same as positive sequence impedance, so no additional test required. Then zero sequence impedance. We will start with positive sequence impedance test. This test is important to check if there is any deformation in the windings or connections. So if we considered that we have power transformer with three voltage levels, we will check it between each two voltage level windings. We will start with impedance between high voltage and low voltage windings. We will short circuit the low voltage winding. Tertiary winding will be open. Three phase supply will be injected to the high voltage side. Voltage measurement between H1 and H2 will be recorded. Voltage measurement between H2 and H3 will be recorded. Voltage measurement between H3 and H1 will be recorded. Current measurement for H1 will be recorded. Current measurement for H2 will be recorded. Current measurement for H3 will be recorded. This test will be performed in our example for maximum voltage tap, normal tap, and minimum voltage tap. All recorded value will be used to calculate the impedance at site at each related tap. Comparison will be done between site and factory values, and the error will be calculated. Care should be taken for the base power and voltage, to make the right comparison. Our example, power transformer 225 MVA 380 with plus minus 10% over 13.8 over 13.8 kV, with vector group YND1 D1, and 21 tap. Power base is 225 MVA and voltage base will depend on tap under test. The results and the calculated errors are shown for high voltage winding, and the first low voltage winding. Same test procedures will be done, but the second low voltage winding shorted. First low voltage winding opened, and inject from high voltage side. The results and the calculated errors are shown for high voltage winding and the second low voltage winding. I brought for you an example for site failed test, power transformer 67 MVA 132 with plus 12.5% and minus 20% over 13.8 over 6.6 .6 kV, with vector group YNYN 0D11 and 27 tap. Power base is 67 MVA and voltage base will depend on tap under test. The failed test was between high voltage winding and tertiary winding. Errors are more than the limit. Test confirmed by winding DC resistance. Manufacturer drained the oil. And delta was open in Y3 bushing inside the transformer. As per IEC standard. The error limits are shown in the table. Zero sequence impedance. This topic will be discussed in next video. Finally and not the end. Thank you for watching my video. Hope it meets your interest. This video prepared by me engineer Hani Camel. For any suggestions or discussions. My contacts are shown. Do not forget, subscribe my channel to get notification for next video.